successive percentages, higher level, grade B, page 88, question 1. You see what I mean when I get going, right? It says, in the school, 40% of students use public, public transport. So, public transport. And then we're further told, it's not very good, is it? Anyway, we're further told that of those who use public transport, 5% use the train. So, 5% use the train, all right? So, got the picture. 40% of the kids go on public transport. 5% of that 40% use the train. Question. What percentage of all the school's students come by train? Essentially, I've got 40% of 5%, or 5% of the 40%. Essentially, 0 0.4, there's the 40%, times 0 0.05, there's the 5%. 5 fours are 20, so that's going to be 0 0.02. Just playing with the decimal places there. Yeah, that's good. And therefore, that equals 2%. So 2% of all students in the school come by public transport, and specifically they come by train. So that's question one done for you. Um, question two, I think I'll do that one. In a town, 90%, so 90% of the 20,000 adults in the town have a job. So it's 90% um, employment rate. Of those workers, 40% are female. So here I go then. I've got 40% female. And that means I must have 60% male who work. All right, let's just reiterate that. In the town, 90% of 20,000 people have jobs. Of these who work, 40% are female, 60% are male. That's my little calculation. A, how many adult females in the town have a job? Right, so it's going to be 40% of 90%. 0.9 times 0.4, well, that's going to be 36, in other words 0.36 or 36% are females who work. How many adult males in this town have a job? Well that's going to be 90% who work times those who are adults, 60%. Nine sixes are, I haven't got a clue, I think it's 54 or is it 63? Here's you do nine time tables, here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 54, I thought so. So that's going to be 0 0.54 as a decimal, and that's called 54%. All right, there? That's lovely. Question two done. Question three, no. Let's do question four on the other page. Question four Jan saves 20% of what she earns. So if I put here 20% um, saved, build society, bank account, whatever, and that means I'm going to put here 80% spends all right so, or yes yeah, spends 80 percent and she'd save 20 percent that's fine now 60 percent of what she spends goes on clothes ah oh, that's good so 60 percent of this 80 percent on clothes that means i've got an extra 40 percent of that 80 percent to do i don't know what i've not read the question that's not important i'm just setting up the storyline a what percentage of Jan's earnings does she spend on clothes? Well, there it is, 80% of the 60%. So 0 0.8 times 0 0.6, well, 6 eighths of 48, 0.48 is a decimal, otherwise known as 48%. So Jan spends 48% of her wages on clothes, it would seem. What percentage of her earnings does she spend on other things? Well, there's the, there's the spending and there's the others. So here's others. And that's going to be 0 0.8 times the remaining 40%, 0 0.4. That's going to be 32, 0 0.32. And there it is, 32% of her money spent on other things. Is that right? Now, I want to do Kelly. Kelly's question six is an interesting um, scenario here. Kelly earns £8.50 an hour. So I'm going to write it down. That's what she earns per hour. It's OK. On promotion, she gets a pay rise of 12%. So here I go, 12%, put a little arrow there, rise. After a year in her new job, Kelly expects to get another pay rise of 6%. Okay, well done, Kelly. Kelly says that her new pay per hour will be 1.18 times £8.50. That is what the question says. 
explain why this is not correct. Very simple, Kelly. You get 12% of your £8.50 one year, and then when that is calculated to be something clearly more than £8.50, you then work out 6% of that and add it on. So really, it's not an 18% wage rise in one go. It should be, take your £8.50, not that it matters in what order you multiply these things, multiply by 1.12, and that's a 12% wage rise, and then multiply the following year by an extra 6%, in other words, 1.06. And those two um, will not make 1.18 if you were to multiply them. So that is the correct calculation Kelly should do. That's what she would get after the two wage rises and write down the calculation she would do. Well there you go, that's the correct calculation. So well done Kelly. You can learn a lot from here. Um, question 8 is a lovely question. It's quite involved. At a college 45% of the students are male. So let me just set up the storyline. 45% male. So straight away I'm going to write down here 55% are going to be the girls. Of these male students, of those male students, 30% are on a construction course. So 30% are on construction. And if I need to write down 70%, don't do construction. I will do, but it depends on what the question asks us later on, doesn't it? Of the female students, that 55%, 10% are also on construction. So here I go, 10% on construction courses. And the punchline is, what percentage of all the college students are on construction courses? Essentially, 45% times 30% plus 55% times 10%. So let me just um, try and set that up for you. Right, let's do the boys first. I've got 0 0.45 times 0 0.3. Um, 345s are going to be, let's have a look, um, 80, 90. 135. In other words, that's going to be 0.135. Um, I can convert that straight away into 13.5%. Let's do our girls. I've got 55%, 0.55 times 10%. So it's 10% of the 55%. Other girls on construction. That's an easy sum, isn't it? That's going to be 0 0.055. In other words, multiplying by 100 there, I've got 5.5%. All together now, here's the total percentage of all the students, male and female, who do construction, 13.5 plus 5.5. Right, I'm showing all my working here, because I'm in a teaching mode at the moment. So what we've got then, uh, 13 plus 5, 18 plus the two halves, 19% of all students study construction. All right then, the next question is supposedly grade A rated. I don't see why these are grade A, but I'm going to go for it anyway, and we'll do it. Let's give it its own page, since it's likely to get quite serious. It says, in a school, 40% of the teachers are men. Okay, let's set it up. 40% men. I'm guessing the other 60% are women. Right. Now are men and 10% of these teachers, that is to say the men folk, wear spectacles. So 10% wear specs. Of the women teachers at the school, 15% wear spectacles. Alright, so 15% wear specs. Work out the percentage of all the teachers at the school who wear specs. It's a little bit like um, question 8, you know, the college question where we had the students doing construction but I don't see why this is any harder but let's just go for it anyway. So 40% of 10%, 0 0.4 times 0.1, that'll be 0 0.04, otherwise known as 4%. Fair enough. Now, the ladies, 0 0.6 times 0.15, um, 1.5 sixes is is 9, so I can work that out as um, 0 0.09. Yes, let's check that. 6 tens are 60, 6 fives are 30, so 60 plus 30 is 90, 0 0.09. In other words, 
9% of the ladies. So what percentage wear specs then? Well, we've got the chaps, which is 4%. We've got the girls, the ladies, 9%. And that gives us 13% of all the teachers wear spectacles in the college. And I'm going to stop it there. You've had a, you've had a massive flavour of what successive percentages is all about. You need to study. It's grade B, and it's a little bit tricky. Thank you very much for watching.